Hey guys, I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to share with you guys my follow-up thoughts on iOS 13.5 developer beta 4 and public beta 3. As I usually like to do after a few days of testing the software, I like to come back with additional information for you guys. And I have some great news to share with you guys. Apple is finally addressing some of the issues with iOS 13.5 and iOS 13 in general. I can't wait to share the details with you guys. And I also like to talk about the YouTube community poll where you guys also have an input on how the latest beta is working for you as well. So this gives everyone a bigger picture, right? A better understanding how everything is working across the board. Now, before I continue with today's video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsors, Moft. They send over the adhesive foldable laptop stand. And I've been using this stand on my 15 inch MacBook Pro for about a week now. And I have to say, this is by far the most portable, lightweight laptop stand that I've used on my 15 inch MacBook Pro. I'm going to keep it installed. You can easily uh, stick it to the back of your MacBook. It works from 11 inch to 13 inch up to 15 inch macbook pros is super light portable you barely tell is there it has two adjustable positions 15 degrees and 25 degree angles for better viewing and typing experience it's just super cool i'm going to keep this one on my macbook pro i think you guys will love this product so links will be in the description i highly recommend it the adhesive foldable laptop stand from Moft. So let's get to some of the details of iOS 13.5. So after using it for nearly four days, five days now, I have to say the battery on the iPhone 11, which is the device that I'm currently using as my primary device, is great. I can't complain whatsoever. Now there's one thing that Apple really, really just addressed with the latest beta, and I'm happy, super happy to report Bluetooth issues are no longer having delays on this device. Now, I've been having Bluetooth issues on the iPhone 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max since iOS 13 initially launched. And now on the latest beta for 13.5, there's no more delays. I've been using external speakers uh, to airplay music and now the volume goes up and down according to the iPhone. It doesn't have a delay. The volume doesn't behave randomly like it used to. So I'm super happy that this issue has been resolved. It was such a pain to have those Bluetooth issues. Now, unfortunately, still the hotspot issues where the hotspot disconnects randomly still occur. And iPhone 7 users, there's still some concerns with you guys as well. Let's talk about the YouTube community poll. On my YouTube community poll, the question was, how is iOS 13.5 beta 4 working for you, of course? And we have approximately 3,500 votes on this one. 17% of you guys are having a great experience. 7%, which is lower now. Okay, but still some bugs. And a 4% having a terrible or bad experience. I'm happy to see that the 72%, the highest percentage, is not running the latest beta. But I have to say, Apple is on a great track. Hopefully, they continue to address some of these issues. Let's see some of the comments here. So you can see iPhone 10R user experiencing bad battery life or no good battery life for you guys. Unfortunately, I don't know what's going on with iPhone XR users, but the battery was good just a few weeks ago. I don't see why Apple continues to just go up and down in terms of battery performance on most devices here. Now, the iPhone 7 users, these are the devices that I'm most concerned about. iPhone 7 users, iPhone 7 Plus, the battery for you guys has just been horrible over the past several updates. Even iOS 13.4, 13.4.1, 13.5 beta, the battery just continues to be an issue. Now, some of you guys are also experiencing Wi-Fi issues and other minor issues that you guys can come back to these YouTube community poll and read some of these comments to get a better understanding how things are working overall but on this iphone 11 i've been testing for a couple of days as i mentioned the battery is good as you can see there most issues are with the hot spot right now bluetooth has been addressed some of you guys iphone 7 users i feel sorry for you guys you guys are still struggling with battery but overall in terms of performance the iphone just feels snappier the bluetooth as i mentioned is great now and hopefully it stays that way stay tuned for the next update ios 13.5 maybe the gold master right around the corner we can expect this software to be released in the next several weeks so maybe two more betas or one more beta and a gold master copy we'll have to wait and see what apple decides to do but overall good news in the bluetooth department let's hope that apple continues on this trend thank you for watching today's video guys have a great day and i'll see you real soon peace